Hamas should be treated exactly the way ISIS was treated. They should be spit out from the community of nations. No leader should meet them. No country should harbor them. And those that do should be sanctioned. Tony, my friend, I say to you, I say to all of us, there will be many difficult days ahead. That was Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu delivering remarks alongside Secretary of State Anthony Blinken earlier this morning in Israel. Blinken said that at least 25 Americans have been killed in these attacks. Joining me right now is Yeshiva University President Rabbi Ari Berman. Rabbi, thanks very much for being here this morning, and my condolences uh, to, to you and your, your country this morning. I know that you were actually in Jerusalem on Saturday when the attack, the unprovoked attack from Hamas started. And your son is now at war fighting for Israel. Well, thank you so much, Maria, for having me on the show. You're doing such an important job in shedding light and truth in the situation. Um, I, uh, I was in Israel over the holidays, and we were coming to a close on this amazing holiday of Tabernacles of Sukkot last Saturday. And in synagogue, we started to hear the air raid sirens. One time, two times, three times, four times. You know, we're blessed with the Iron Dome uh, that gives us a certain sense of protection and, of course, our prayers to God who always protects us. But we didn't ourselves understand the extent of this attack. On our way home from synagogue, somebody came over to us and said, you know, you really need to check your phones. We're Sabbath observers, so we don't carry our electronics with us. So my son uh, went back to his apartment, he opened his phone, and he found that he was one of the reservists, one of the, at the time, over 300,000 reservists who was called up to war. You know, it was the first time in my life when he came back and told me the news that I sent my son off to war. Have you spoken with your son since? We've spoken, uh, we speak daily. Okay. And thank God he is, uh, he is safe. I want to ask you about Yeshiva University uh, and what's going on on a university level. The investor, Bill Ackman, billionaire investor, Bill Ackman, uh, says he wants all the names of those Harvard University students who signed a letter blaming Israel uh, for the violence in the region. On the, uh, in a post on X, Twitter, he says a number of CEOs have asked him about this, quote, to ensure that none of us inadvertently hire any of their members. Harvard's president, Claudine Gay, released a statement condemning Hamas and distancing the university from the student groups. But this was after that letter went out where these student groups were, uh, were, were siding with Hamas. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think a lot about this. Like, what are college students thinking here? Um, you know, do they think it's going to advance their careers? Are they misguided? Are they immoral? Like, clearly, it can help advance their careers. I mean, the business community, the academic community, the world community notes when somebody sides with baby killers, rapists, and murderers. Uh, I'm a religious man, so I, I tend to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I would hope that they're not immoral. In my mind, it must be that they're misguided. And that's the role of universities. You know, universities are based on the truth. And what we need right now is moral clarity. And I call on all university presidents to issue that moral clarity that the battle here is a battle against evil and terrorism. Well, look at this list. Put that list up again. Look at this list of universities where student groups have supported the Palestinian cause. How is this possible? Did they, were, are they not aware that the Palestinians, Hamas, put this unprovoked attack on Israel. And it's exactly what we need to focus on. Hamas is ISIS. People need to understand that wherever they are politically, progressives and conservatives can rally around the fact that we do not stand with people who kill babies. Do you believe Iran is behind it? I have no uh, uh, personal information one way or another about who is behind this, uh, uh, this attack. What I do know is that we need to root out this evil that is in our midst. And it's not a battle just for Israel. It's a battle for people of good moral conscience around the world. Yeah. Okay. We will leave it there. Rabbi, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you so uh, much, Prayers Marie. are with everyone who has lost their lives and their families. Rabbi Ari Berman. We'll be right back.